What is up guys, it's Awana Turtle. Today we're doing another magic opening. We are going into a another box. This is our fourth box of War of the Spark. Uh, I've misplaced my box cutter, so I just have a pair of scissors to get into through the wrapping. So we started off super hot. Our first two boxes were amazing. And then our third one was an absolute dud. So we're hoping to bounce back from that. From, I think we didn't even get a foil rare. We only had two mythics. By far the worst box. Uh, we did get some dupe rares that were good. Then we got a couple cards. Um, two blast zones, which is nice, but definitely left wanting more, especially in that mythic slot in that foil rare. So we got going through the whole box. Let's get into this. Still looking for our first Liliana. So hopefully we can get that all right so let's just see if there's anything cool the interested about these weird cards turret ogre yeah i think we've seen all these at this point kind of go from the uncommon and on all right we have a dom ambush and it just fell bond of insight a sahili nice and then a tal samir Friend of the Wolves. There's a Planeswalker or something to do with the Wolves as well. Can't remember her name. So, hope everyone's having a good day and hope everyone's own polls are going really well for War of the Spark. Let me know in a comment below. Paradise Druid, a Rescuer Sphinx, and another Sahili. Nice. And then a Story of the Lich, followed by a Foil Common. All right. Well, we're getting. I guess Sahili is a good pull for the Planeswalker. Still need to do much better than that to make up for our last box. Got a Pride Mate Emergence Zone. Ooh, man! All the good uncommon Planeswalker in Ashik, and then Ignite the Beacon. Search your library. This card feels pretty bad. Although it's instant speed, though. But search your library up to two Planeswalker cards and add them to your hand. I think that's too high of a cost. Although I guess technically it's a tutor for two cards. Eternal. The Raptor. Lazotep Plating. And then nice. Sarkhan the Masterless. Just look real quick. Whenever a creature attacks you or a planeswalker you control, each dragon you control deals one damage to that creature. That's pretty cool if you can get a couple of dragons. Until end of turn, each planeswalker you control becomes a 4-4 red dragon it, creature engaged flying. That's interesting, um, just because if you have a bunch of them, I feel that being really relevant. And then, although his passive doesn't really have anything to do with his activated ability, but I'm assuming that the assuming your planeswalkers become dragons, that they can still attack and, and activate their abilities as well, because it doesn't tap it. God Pharaoh Stature, this card feels really strong, but just really high cost. Samut. I think that's another good one. Basically giving everything haste and making them stronger. Um, and he is somewhat flexible on his casting cost. Um, and 4 for 5 loyalty. Not bad. Probably 4 loyalty after he uses minus 1. Alright, we got some Riders. Ugin's Conjurant. And then the Kylo Ren Planeswalker and Elder Spell. This one's pretty cool. Destroy any number of target Planeswalkers. And then you can increase the loyalty of your own. But a two two mana to get rid of two potentially two permanents on the field. Or any number of permanents, but I guess most likely it'll just be one. But it's a pretty clean way to get rid of a planeswalker. Evolution Sage. Nice. Invade the city. And then Angarat, the intense one, and then mobilize district. So I feel like our rare slots have been pretty bad so far. No mythics. We are definitely on a down streak for War of the Spark openings. Come on. Let's do better. We started off so well. Death Sprout, Devouring Hellion, Kaya, and then a Dread Horde Butcher is okay. Basically, it's only a 1 1, and he gets powered up every single time he deals damage to a pl planeswalker or player uh, then he when he dies he kind of just does damage based on how strong he is grateful apparition 
Tybalt. Then Narset. Reversal. So I don't know who Narset is. Never heard of her until this set. Alright, we got the Cyclops. Gideon's Triumph. What does this do? Target opponent sacrifices a creature that attacked and blocked this turn. Hmm. Cure. And Spark Doubles. Alright. And then Jaya's Greetings. Jaya's Green deals 3 damage to target creature. Scry 1. That's not bad. I feel like this is a very good, um, you know, it's for the extra mana compared to Lightning Bolt. You know, it's obviously extra cost. It's not good, but at least you get the Scry 1. Alright. Scorpion. Cruel Celebrant. Lilian, Liliana's Triumph. Nice. And then a Jace. I feel like we're pulling a lot of Jaces. Wielder of the Mysteries. I have a, imagine that's going to be like the cheapest Jace ever. Since it's that rare slot. All Girl Bolus. Lazotep Plating. Vraska. And then Finale of Glory. Create two, uh, two white and an X. Uh, X 2-2 two, two white soldier creature tokens. If it's 10, uh, also create X 4-4. Four, four. Uh, so that's pretty insane if you can get to 12. But chains of doing that to very low. Not a very good mythic. Definitely looking for those mythic planeswalkers. But at least we got one, and we're already into the second stack. Dreadhorde Twins, Jiang, and then Massacre Girl. Massacre Girl is pretty bad. I'm not sure how you set off a crazy chain reaction for her, unless you kind of have your own weak creatures, just to kind of ramp up the damage, but then you're you're losing your own creatures, so I'm not sure what the point of that is. Bolt Bend, Samut, nice, and Finale of Promise. Okay, so another Finale. You may cast up to one target instant and or instant card and or up to one target sorcery card from your graveyard. Each converted mana cost X or less, paying their mana costs. What? If a card was cast to be graveyard this turn, exile instead. Interesting. So I'll promise. Oh, that's one of the higher. Uh, as far as the price is going for right now, it's pretty high. Okay, so you cast something from your graveyard with X mana cost X, and then it goes exiled. All right. Jesus Triumph, up to one. Oh, okay, so you can do an instant and a sorcery. That's the whole point. Angrath's Rampage, nice. Kashima, then enter the gods. God Eternals. The god cards are pretty cool. Actually, I haven't pulled many of the gods. I think we got the boar one, which is nice. Uh, I'm still looking for some of the better ones. Looks like a vehicle in this pack. Neoform, the Wanderer, and the Silent Submersible. I feel like this card needs like Island Walk or something, then it would be good. Ooh, I see a mythic. Alright, Bleeding Edge. 10th District Legionnaire, Tybalt, and then nice! This is one of the better gods. Okay, for 4 mana we have a 4-5 Flyer. You may reveal this card, uh, the first card you draw each turn as you draw it. Whenever you reveal an instant or sorcery this way, copy that card and you may cast the copy. That copy costs two less to cast. Interesting. Um, and then the typical thing when the gods go away. Let's just take a quick look. Alright, that thing's almost, that thing's like mid to upper teens right now. Awesome pull right there. Okay, so we're doing pretty good at Mythic. Oh my gosh, there's another one. Got a black... Black Mythic. Kasmina, and then Eternal Bantu. Okay, another good one. Ah, that one's like six bucks. Uh, and just bad for the sacrifice, any number of permanents. That, oh, I like this one. This kind of just turns your uh, stuff you have into draw. Um, any number of permanents. So I feel like if you kind of have a deck that creates a lot of artifacts, like on a 1-1 one, one artifacts. I feel like he could just drop in, give you a lot of draw. His menace is I feel like doesn't really do much. So many good cards in this set. Definitely would prefer pulling the planeswalkers, but the gods are cool. Evolution Sage, nice. Price of Betrayal, Zhang, and a Dread Horde Arc Arcanist. 
<laughs> a 1-3 trample. Hmm. Whenever attacks you may cast, target insert and sorcery card with commander mana cost less equal to his power. Interesting. From your graveyard without paying its cost? Okay. Alright, so if you can get some bolts in there. See that being pretty insane. Still think that trample is kind of confusing, but... I'll take it. Merfolk Skydiver. I'm surprised this card's not a uh, higher cost than it is. Liliana Triumph. Mism Tank. Terrible. Alright, let's get some foils. Where's our where's our foil rare? Let's get some... I feel like the first two boxes each had multiple foil like rare mythics. Gleaming Overseer. Narset. And then, oh my gosh, so many finales. Oh, so I feel like um, some people were speculating about some weird patterns they were seeing. So we have finale of Re Revelation. This one's pretty weak. But this one definitely seems to be a god in finale box. Although, give me one of those plane walkers boxes. That's what I want. That's what our first box was. If you haven't seen that, it is spread across three different uh, videos. But definitely check that out. Got some insane pulls. Riders foil. Still looking for the. Um, I want to get all the foil planeswalkers. All right, Johnny's prime mate. Pledge of Unity. Emergent Zone. Nissa, who shakes the world. That one's interesting. I don't think it's that great, but. All right, Tyrant Scorn, Interplanar Beacon, The Wanderer, Mobilize District. I think my favorite Planeswalkers, um, except for like, obviously the Mythic ones are good. Uh, but for the rare slots, I like Karn, I like Tafari. I'm going to pull the one Tafari so far. Ooh, another Mythic. Oh my gosh, that's a, that's a foil Mythic. All right, let's see, who could that be? A Johnny, maybe? No, it was a Mythic. All right, we got Domri and Archibulus, and then, oh gosh, a foil Oketra. Awesome. Oketra is kind of like uh, close to a $10 card. So this guy is Double Strike, 3 6. Nice. When you cast a creature spell, create a 4 4 zombie warrior creature with vigilance. Awesome. Sick pull right there, guys. Show some love. Hit that like button down below for our foil Mythic, God Eternal Oketra. So many gods, so many... Alright, this is a good box. <laughs> this is a very mythic heavy box. I love it. Especially after that two mythic dud. Then Krenko. Man, these, these boxes are insane. It's either super good or super bad. Although we only had one, one super bad out of four boxes so far. So happy with that. Role reversal. Exchange. I still don't really understand it. Exchange control of two target permanents that share permanent type. Does that mean that one permanent has to be from each player? Or can they both be from the same player? Can you take control of two permanents that just happen to have the same type? Ooh, nice. Chandra Fire Artisan and then a Charmed Cat. A 1-1 one, one for one lifelink. When it enters a battlefield, put a 1-1 one, one counter on each other creature you control named Charm. Charm Stray. Wow. <laughs> That's actually kind of a cool card. I'm not sure how you can like cast duplicates of it without um, how you can kind of put stray tokens on it, but that'd be cool. Solar Blaze. Terrible card in my opinion. Equal to its power. I feel like that would sweep most things, but why leave it up to that condition? I guess if you have a lot of things with higher toughness, but... Again, just feels, when you rely on that, feels inconsistent. Single combat. Single combat's an interesting one. I feel that could be good in like, certain control decks. <laughs> Excuse me. D-Spark. Prison Realm. Nissa's Triumph. Ujin, nice. The ineffable. Card's definitely going to be a winner. Ooh, if, you, if you play this, does that make Karn cheaper? Like the. Because um, he is non color. Or colorless. 
Firemind Vessel, Neoform, Nahiri, nice, and then Oath of Kaya. I like Oath of Kaya. Whenever it enters the battlefield, deals 3 damage to any target, you gain 3 life, and whenever an opponent attacks a planeswalker you control, deals 2 damage to that player, and you gain 2 life. So just keep dropping planeswalkers, and it'll be super annoying. Jace's Triumph, Bond of Flourishing, Bond of Revival, nice, Tamiyo Collector of Tales, I really like this. I feel like it goes really well with obviously things with like Scry or Brainstorm. So I feel like, I wonder if this thing will even be relevant in like Legacy where you have things like Top and obviously Brainstorm again. Just to easy manage card draw. I feel like it would be hard, hard to top Jace and you need green, but I just feel like he's really sh she is really strong. Alright, we're winding down. We got three packs left. We got a bunch of Mythics, so I'm not sure we're going to pull any more. But we did. Ooh, this is our first jo a Johnny, the Great, Great Hearted. Creatures who control of vigilance. That doesn't sound that good. Gain three life. That doesn't sound that good either. Put a plus one plus one counter on each creature you control, and a loyal count. Wow, that's amazing. Ooh, nice. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. So, most boxes, I feel you get two foil, rare slash mythic. Although, except for that one box, deliver unto evil. Awesome art. This is my favorite art by far. Choose up to four target cards in your graveyard. If you control Bolas, turn those cards to hand. Otherwise, opponent chooses two. <laughs> Interesting. All right. This was a, definitely a very strong box. Thanks for watching, guys. As always, hit that like button on the way out. If you're not a sub, definitely hit that subscribe button. We're going to be doing a lot of Magic Gathering openings. Oh my gosh, this box is amazing. This is the Planeswalker. This is like the... Ah, uh, third best, but he is amazing. Um, all right. Obviously, when it's your turn, Gideon's always a 4-4 human with indestructible. He's always still a planeswalker. He doesn't take damage. Up to one other target permanent you control. Gains your choice of visions, lifelink, or indestructible. I imagine indestructible is a good one. And then exile target non-land permanent. Eh, that's not that relevant. He only costs three mana. Absolutely amazing. So many mythics in this box, but... Yeah, what was I saying? Definitely hit that like button, subscribe for future content. If you're new to the channel, we do a lot of Pokemon content as well as Yu-Gi-Oh! content as well. So if you're interested in either of them, definitely hit that sub button as well as that bell for notifications, guys. Alright, last pack. We have a Dovin, very nice, and then ugh, Silent Submarine. Alright, an insane box. Let's just do a quick recap. Alright, one Gideon. Then we have, oh my gosh, a foil Oketra. Are you kidding me? Finale of Revelation. God Eternal Bantu. God Eternal Kefnet. Final Finale of Promise. Finale of Glory. Whew. That's so many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven Mythic Box, guys. Um definitely by far the most I've ever seen definitely hit that like button down below that was just a a god box of an opening um, once again hit that like button subscribe for future content thanks so much for watching guys I'm Moana Turtle and we'll catch you guys next time peace